after that commercial break and more pesos. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we made a peso. Yay. Anyway, um... Someone in our comments tell us how much a peso is worth because we was trying to figure this out earlier. But anyway, um, Bizarro. Yeah, I think good yeah. reference material is what I think should happen. They should at least reference him I, once, twice, maybe even do like uh-huh. a glimpse of him through like one of Lex Luthor's little spy glasses, like magic ball, crystal ball yeah. kind of things. Is like show like Le- or show Bizarro one time in it. I, um, that I didn't like the costume in this movie. I really didn't. That, yeah, I was kind of wanting to talk about the costume too. It, it, like, like, okay, say what you want about Superman, but the bright colors meant something. Like with this movie, sometimes it kind of looked like almost a deep, a dark purple, on sun, on sun. Ugh. At certain parts, yeah, without the sun reflecting off of it, it did resemble a. A midnight blue slash purple, and like even like the S, which was like it was still red and yellow, but that even looked a bit darker than what it should have been. Well, that's because it was a darker movie, is what I think it comes down to. But and I understand the the version of this is it helped him what soak up the sun energy to yeah, make him stronger. I it 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 was basically a big cell on his body is what it comes down mm-hmm. to. Though, that being said, that really doesn't make any sense considering they were wearing the same thing when they were in Krypton. Okay, so yeah. That is point. My <laughs> point made no sense. I'm sorry, I spoke. Um, as for the red underwear thing, I could really care less in a movie. Like, if this was like a comic book, I would be kind of pissed off, but... If, right, if you didn't see the red briefs... The, that's a staple in comics. Is you need it, the red briefs. It, they look goofy, but at the same time, I think like the briefs they kind of offset the colors too. Yeah, it breaks up that blue. Yeah, because if you have don't have the briefs, I'm sorry, you might as well get rid of the cape too, because it just looks like a suit of armor. But obviously, I can forgive this version not having underwear, because considering this is a movie, it would have looked rather ridiculous that and, a dude running around with. A red brief looking thing right there so and like and it's kind of the same thing with uh, Tim Burton movies like at instead <laughs> instead of him having like the black underwear off the gray and black underwear like say the Adam West yeah TV, so they paid they played it perfectly with just him being in all black and then after that it became a staple it was like yeah no more briefs for this guy. It's like he still wore briefs in the comics, but in the movie, in the movies, it's like no, he has a black suit now. Except so for the, this could except could for we, Schumacher, but that's different in general. Poor nipples, badass that, and badass and bat nipples. <laughs> nipples, man, that's nipples. <laughs> I said nipples on the internet like five times. <laughs> But there's just one thing you can't get past is the nipples. But um, yeah, I think we could be seeing uh, a thing where it's like we get rid of the red briefs. He has the straight suit of blue with red. I did like how the cape was introduced instead of it just being tucked what, under the, the whole, suit. What the whole CGI cape? Well, yeah. Like even in shots where he wasn't moving, you could tell it was CGI. <laughs> But I did like how it was introduced, how there was like, it had a spot under here, the the strip across the front, and it was tucked in-ish. Well. Instead of it being just kind of pinned to him. With well, some Supermans, how they look. Well, I thought they were going to do like what they did with the Injustice Superman, where it kind of went to his S, which I, this is my opinion, but that is the stupidest thing I've ever seen to an S. Yeah. I like the game, but I really didn't like the costumes in that movie game. So some of the costumes did look horrible. Yeah. But when you get into some of like Batman's, I couldn't stand the regular version of Injustice Batman. Oh my! I could. Then not. the other version, the other world version, looked so much better. It I, it was Batman. How did so. we change stuff? Anyway, we do it all the time. That's uh, how we do. Yeah. I it is I did like the fact that they did reference instead of being an S on his chest, it, which everyone knows is for Superman or depending on what year you go with, I think it was the golden age, it was strength. 
Mm-hmm. And then it just became, well, it's Superman. Yeah. I think, and that's kind of being faithful to the comic, too, because... I think the that's S, what it was. The is. S does stand for the House of the house of L. Yeah. At the same time, it works really well that it stood for hope, because I, of, like, the few things the movie did get right, I think that was probably the best thing. I thought that was probably the defining moment of the and, whole costume was the fact that the symbol on his chest was the House of L's hope symbol. Which, and when you think about it, really doesn't make any sense considering the House of L is like, uh, it's like scientist yeah. instead. It, so wouldn't it be like some some type of Kryptonian form for that? But What I did find kind of funny is if you play Injustice, the game, the Red Sun pack, if you get that pack, it looked a lot like General Zod's symbol. Yeah. Like, almost to a T, it was General Zod's symbol was the Red Sun. So, I, are they trying to say General Zod was the Red Sun? Um, Which makes, no, because... No, it wouldn't be, because Re the whole premise of Red Sun was, was the, what if Superman was, land was instead of landing in Kansas, he, he landed, landed in Russia. Russia. Which makes, yeah, but I, it was the... Almost the exact same symbol for General Zod was the red sun symbol. Almost. It, all they needed was the the, it, the hammer. Yeah, the hammer and the hammer a and slight more point to the, the sickle. To the sickle. So. Um, so it's. I didn't. Like, is there that least amount of symbols in Kryptonian that, like, kind of like in uh, some of our letters, like the O and the Q are the exact same, except for the Q has a little. In it, so I mean I can understand it, but it's just it was way too close for my comfort. I didn't like his costume simply on the basis was it was pitch black. That's all it was, even with the sh the symbol. Well, and I'm not talking like when he had the armor on. I'm talking like when he had just the suit in general. He was the general. He was the general, and uh, any war person in Kryptonian was blacked out uh, hence the skull yeah. looking mask and, when they had their suit on and it kind of looks just dumb to me because he sort of had like these not gauntlets but kind of like these sh protect it basically it was a gauntlet dude sort that's of, what it comes down to is which to me if he was to buy something on the internet it would be categorized as a gauntlet yeah he had like these gauntlet things but the way with his suit was set up was like I'm, it was bland to the point if like you just replaced like his symbol with the with the yellow with the yellow lightning and like the gauntlets were yellow, <laughs> he would totally look like Black Adam. <laughs> he totally would really. <laughs> and I saw exactly where you was going with that as soon as you said that. I was like, Oh my god, it's Black Adam almost. <laughs> yeah, like even when like when he was flying, like I was like, Oh my god, he looks like Black Adam. <laughs> We got Black. We got Superman's version of Black Adam, and that's that's Shazam and Superman. <laughs> They're not gonna make a Shazam movie, no matter how hard you try. They will never make a because Shazam. Because only for, in animation. <laughs> for some weird reason, DC still hates Shazam. Well, Captain Marvel, but yeah. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> uh, other than uh, a couple things with the suit, I thought it was. I didn't like the stripes. I think that's like the biggest thing that was the turn. I think that was the only thing I did not like about the suit was the stripes down the side to make it look like a track suit ish. No type offense. Of thing. <laughs> yeah, it sort of looked like a swim like a swimsuit with mixed with a track one. So not like and not like the speedo, but like the, the when they wear body suits. Like, yeah. Like, uh, kind of like a unitard type situation. Yeah. But I mean, the costume, I, amazing graphics for that costume, and I'm sure that took a lot of time. So big ups to that department. I'm actually okay with not for the S standing for something, but uh, like obviously that S is Earth Two Superman, not Earth One. So. Oh yeah, because of the the style of it. And if for guys, for people who don't know, Earth Two Superman, he is Superman, but like if he was born for the goddamn the light went off. <laughs> 
Um, he's Superman, but say instead of being born in modern times, he was born like 50 years earlier. And like sort of like the it's it's kind of messed up, and you should probably just check out the Wikipedia article. But yeah, good read. I want to do part four, or we're on part four. Well, we are on part four, so maybe a part five if we could think of something. So yeah, maybe so. we'll find out. <laughs>